Hi, my name is Mike Lapitan with Wonderware California. Thanks for joining our Simplifying Remote Access with Wonderware Learn in 30 webinar. Now it's more important than ever for our customers to be able to remotely access their plan information. So we're going to talk about how to securely do that and the different options that you have. Some background on Aviva Wonderware. We're the leading digital solution provider for industrial automation software with over 100,000 plants and facilities in use worldwide. You can rest assured Aviva Wonderware is a safe investment for the long term. Wonderware California has been your resource since 1992 for Wonderware software solutions. We offer best practices, design and configuration, and can even provide implementation and documentation when needed. We offer local training and workshops, and we have a YouTube channel with great videos, and we have local technical support so you can get your questions answered now. And we offer professional IT services, so we can provide computers and servers with Wonderware software installed, as well as virtualized and high availability systems, and even configure firewalls and virtual private network appliances for you. We have over 120 registered system integrators and OEMs here in California. So why remote access to plant data? Well, we're mobile workers. We're not always in front of computers. So we need to be able to access plant information from home and from the field. And by having increased visibility, we have increased awareness of the operations that's, that are happening in real time. That allows us to enable uh, more informed decision making in real time to increase operational reliability and, and, and efficiency. It allows us to remotely support our plan operations as well as even control plan operations if needed. We can also then share data with non-operators so we can share data with other business users as well as other business applications. Over on the left hand side we've got InTouch Access Anywhere running on a tablet. So that's our full InTouch application running on a mobile device. And then the other solution we'll talk about is Aviva Insight. And here you see on the right hand side our Aviva Insight mobile app running on a phone. So we'll talk about the differences and what the benefits are to each of these solutions. Let's start with InTouch Access Anywhere. InTouch Access Anywhere allows you to access your InTouch Window Viewer application from an HTML5 web browser using any desktop or laptop, or tablet or phone with whatever browser you prefer to use, such as Chrome, Safari, Edge, Internet Explorer, and Firefox. InTouch Access Anywhere supports your existing InTouch application with 100% of the functionality no modifications are required to your application. Now, this goes all the way back to InTouch version 2012 R2. And every user gets an independent session. So when you're using a Windows Server operating system with the remote desktop services role enabled, uh, this also requires Microsoft Remote Desktop CALS, uh, but it allows you to have independent sessions so that any number of people can log into InTouch and you don't have to fight over the mouse, you don't have to fight over the desktop. Everybody gets their own InTouch window viewer session. And the secure gateway is included, and I'll talk a little bit more about that and how we secure InTouch Access Anywhere. From a licensing standpoint, InTouch Access Anywhere is a concurrent user license. So, for example, if you need five users accessing InTouch Access Anywhere at the same time, they could be from anywhere, from any device, you would need five concurrent licenses. And lastly, InTouch Access Anywhere is an on premise solution, so it is installed and running on your server in your plant. Let's look at a quick demo of InTouch Access Anywhere. Here you can see I am in Google Chrome, my web browser, and I'm just going to navigate to a web page just to demonstrate that I'm in a browser. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on my shortcut to InTouch Access Anywhere. You can see this is a web page, and typically I would be using HTTPS, which would be a certificate-based uh, security authentication. But I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Active Directory domain user, and that's uh, now able to launch Window Viewer within the browser. So this is now InTouch Window Viewer. Notice I'm not logged in with a user account that has control capability. So by default, I'm just read only. I can only view my application. I actually can't control anything. But I do get full um, functionality, including my uh, historical trending here, my alarming, uh, my real-time visibility. <clears throat> and so what I'll go ahead and do next is I'll log in with a user and administrator account that has capabilities to, to do control. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see my uh, auto mode switch uh, to uh, manual mode now. And now I have the ability to do things like acknowledge alarms and comment on those alarms. Uh, I'll be able to do command and control. So I have full read write functionality now, just as if I was sitting in front of my local InTouch workstation in the control room. So I'll go ahead and open up a valve. And I will change a set point. 
change my concentrate set point, make it higher. I'm gonna to go to a different area of my plant here to this packaging area and speed up my conveyor. Speed that up. So you can see it's it's full in touch, running within a web browser naturally, and you don't have to install anything on the client device in order to access in touch access anywhere. And when I navigate uh, away to a different web page or I close my web browser, it disconnects me from my InTouch window viewer session. Again, I don't get access to the server. I don't get access to the server desktop. I don't get access to other applications. Uh, it is strictly window viewer running within an HTML5 browser. From a security standpoint, if we start over on the right-hand side, we have our business network <clears throat> with a uh, firewall in between the business network and the DMZ. DMZ stands for a demilitarized zone. And in that we can install what's called the InTouch Access Anywhere Secure Gateway. It's a piece of our software that can install, be installed on a Windows 10 operating system or a server operating system. And it provides an added level of network segregation between your process control network, your business network, and the internet. Okay, so part of uh, cybersecurity is um, having defensive depth and uh, multiple levels of network segregation. And so uh, from your business network, you can log into the Intention Access Anywhere Secure Gateway. It uses a port 443 HTTPS, which is Secure Sockets Layer. It's an encrypted and authenticated way to connect to a, a web page. And you would uh, uh, log in with your Active Directory domain credentials, security credentials. And then once you log in, as we demonstrated, Intention Window Viewer will start on the Access Anywhere server um, being displayed through the web browser. Over on the, the far left bottom, you can see our Active Directory domain server. So that's what we use for security for authenticating. Additionally, you can add a VPN, a virtual private network and a VPN client to access say the business network. It's an added level of security. You can also add dual factor authentication I mean, that's not uh, a part of the InTouch Access Anywhere solution, but it can be provided by your IT uh, department to have dual factor authentication. Let's move on to Aviva Insight. Aviva Insight is a cloud hosted solution in the Microsoft Azure Data Center. It's a secure managed solution that is managed by Wonderware. Um, we'll talk about security as well, uh, a little more detail here. <laughs> but it provides a lower IT and maintenance costs for an on-premise solution because it is hosted in the cloud. You don't need to purchase additional servers. You don't need to maintain those. You don't need to install software. So you can get up and running much faster with less cost and it allows you to access your data anywhere, anytime, any device. Now it is read-only data opposed to InTouch Access Anywhere that provides control, uh, but you can access your data through a web browser using the Insight Browser Client. You can access your data on your phone using the Insight mobile app. You can pull your data into Excel using the Excel 365 app. And you can use a REST API to pull data into your own third-party applications, as well as uh, use the BI gateway to interface with your business intelligence uh, software tools like Microsoft Power BI and Tableau. You can get data into Aviva Insight from a number of data sources, including the Wonderware Historian, InTouch, Aviva Edge, SiteTech, from any PLC via OPC, programmatically using JSON, and then uploading CSV files. So all those are supported data sources with Aviva Insight. On the left-hand side, you see Aviva Insight, uh, the mobile app on your phone. This is an actual customer screenshot, and the same data that's displayed from a desktop browser on the right-hand side. In this case, the customers want me to monitor the uh, creek flows so they can anticipate what their influent flows will be so they can plan uh, for how much capacity they'll need to uh, treat wastewater. Here's another customer example where they've embedded the Aviva Insight content inside of their own GIS public web page so that their customers can see in real time what the storm channel levels are. That way, if there's a heavy wet weather event, they know if there's a potential for flooding if the storm channel is starting to overflow. Let's do a demo of Aviva Insight. Here I'm in Google Chrome again, and I'm gonna go, go to online.wonderware.com. And after I log in, it launches my uh, dashboards. I can quickly search for data that I wanna see, or I can pull up dashboards that I've already saved or somebody else maybe who's configured for me. 
I've got news feeds for machine learning and predictive analytics. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my dashboards here. And so I'll, I'll drill down into uh, my mountain current flows on the top right hand side. So that's going to open up a status board that shows me the current value of uh, my the tags. And I can look at whatever time range I want. I can look at today, last three days, pick whatever start time and end time using the custom period. And then I'll go ahead and open up this in a line chart and view this in a uh, trend. From this line chart, again, I can pick whatever time horizon I want. I can save this so I can come back to it later. I can add alerts. So if I want to get notifications based on any conditions, um, when things are equal to or exceed or uh, different thresholds, I can get email notifications. I can send those emails to myself and to other people. So it's very easy to set up uh, alerts and get uh, uh, push notifications in my phone as well. And I'll go ahead and open up a report grid. You can see there's many reporting objects, but I'm just going to show a few today. This is a summary grid showing um, right now hourly data, uh, hourly average data. I'm going to go ahead and show uh, my minimum values every 15 minutes. And then I can share this report with other people if I'd like to by clicking the share button. I can save this report. If I'd like, I can go back to it later. And then I can also download the data to uh, Excel and open it up in Excel or a CSV file. I'll go ahead and save this CSV file and see what it looks like in Excel. All right, so as I open that up, I can see without having to install anything on my computer, I am able to access my, my data and pull it into Excel. And again, if I wanted to use the Excel app right within Excel, I could uh, pull data into Excel without even uh, being on the online.wonderware.com webpage. Next, I'm going to look at my asset page. And this is where I can have a consolidated information, not just um, uh, data, but also journal entries. So I can add a journal entry for this particular asset. So that becomes a saved note that I can share with my team. So this is an electronic logbook type uh, application. I can pick the, the date and time that I want the, the note to be associated with. I can go ahead and save that. And then I can share that information with other people. Next, I'm going to show the uh, graphics capability where you can take a picture of your asset or a, um, a, a layout of your plant, and then you can overlay real-time values uh, over those pictures. So it gives us some more uh, context in terms of uh, the data that we're looking at. We can associate it with pictures that we import. And lastly, let's look at the Insight performance capability where we can do plant OEE, overall equipment effectiveness. This is for a manufacturing environment, say a bottling line or a packaging line that I want to monitor uptime, downtime, and equipment states. So right now I can see I had an e-stop uh, downtime event, and I can go ahead and add an additional reason why I had an e-stop. And so this allows me to do my uh, downtime reporting, I look at a downtime by duration and reason. So I can see I've had equipment failures and e-stop events, and I can see how many times I had each of those events and then I can see how much production I've had based on maybe a job or a work order. I can see my ideal rate. So based on my ideal rate and how long I've been running, I should, I should be at a certain percentage complete. Right now I'm running a little bit behind. I can see my estimated completion time based on uh, my current run rate. And then I can also see good quality and bad quality counts. So I can start to do some waste production measuring. The Aviva Insight architecture is very easy to set up from your process control network. Again, we have a variety of different data sources we can push data to. If you're already using the Wonderware Historian or InTouch or Edge, uh, this only takes a few minutes to set up. And we can push the data through a DMZ secure link. That's another piece of software that we provide that's included and that can be installed again in this demilitarized zone, this network that's separate from the process control network and separate from the business network. And again, that allows us multiple levels of segregation and so that we can push the read-only encrypted data outbound only up into the cloud. And once it's in the cloud, we can access it 
through the browser-based dashboards and insights, the Insight mobile app, using the uh, REST API to integrate with other software applications, and using our Excel app for reporting. We also have a tier three architecture. If you're using the historian, the one-door historian on the process control network, we can replicate the data through a firewall. Again, single outbound port encrypted read-only data. And send that to a tier two historian that sits on the business network and maybe that's used for local reporting, but then you also wanna push that to the cloud so that you have broader access to data, again, both from your phone, from a browser without connecting to the business network and sharing data with other uh, users that aren't necessarily operators or even on the have to be on the business network and um, be able to do uh, reporting outside uh, uh, into the cloud as well. Aviva Insight licensing um, is a subscription and it starts with a free trial. So you can try for free for 45 days with two users, a thousand data points with one minute data rates. And then uh, we move into the light option, which includes two users uh, up to a thousand data points with one minute data resolution and one year accessible history. The standard offering um, also includes two users, 10,000 data points with a five second data rate, one year or five year accessible history. And uh, that is, uh, you have the ability to add additional users as needed. And then we've got the professional and enterprise options as well for more of the enterprise customers. So in touch access anywhere in Aviva Insight, which is right for you. Well, if InTouch screens or plant control are required, then InTouch Access Anywhere provides the full InTouch experience. But even Viva Insight to provide additional business value, it requires less infrastructure. So there's lower costs, lower IT, lower maintenance, lower capital and front costs. So it's easier to get started. You can get results immediately, you can get instant access to the data from your phone or from the browser. No need to log into the SCADA network or the business network. No need a VPN or have multiple logins. It has additional capability for alerts, for logbook, for condition-based monitoring, predictive analytics, uh, overall equipment effect effectiveness, and more. Nice thing about the cloud solution is new functionality will automatically get delivered to you without having to do any upgrades or updates or, or work. And you can share data with business users and third-party applications. <clears throat> so another value add to Aviva Insight. So there are benefits to using both in touch access anywhere and Aviva Insight. So decide what's right for you and for different users who may have different needs. That's all we have for our remote access webinar. Thank you. If you have any questions, please do email them to, to us at sales at california.wonderware.com or give us a call at 866-966-3376. Thanks for watching.